Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to pour on a tile and I'm doing a fall pour. I'm dreaming of fall and some cooler temperatures. So um, we're going to do some fall colors today. Um, ripe tomato, titanium gold, um, yellow lemon, and deep burgundy. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a sky, not much of one, but for the sky I have some um, Calypso sky mixed with some ice blue and some um, white. And I also have just plain white. For those of you who ha have um, sensitivity to any strong odors, um, this Apple Barrel Multi-Service White has a really strong smell. It makes me cough, and I'm I'm not super sensitive. So, um, anyway, just a heads up. If you are, you may want to stay away from that um, that brand of white. Um, I have all my colors mixed with water and Floetrol, and um, several drops of. Is that focusing? Windsor and Newton um, Oxgall liquid. It's a watercolor medium. Um, you can find that in Hobby Lobby with the other mediums. I get a lot of questions on where to find it. If you look in the with the rest of the mediums, it'll be there um, in that same area. So what I think I'm going to do here, I want it to be kind of more of the, on the diamond shape. I'm going to have my sky here, and then I'm going to have the, the fall colors kind of seeping into the sky. What I think I'm going to do is paint or pour um, my fall colors and then tilt, get it almost where I want it to be, if not a little higher, then pour my blue and tilt back this way maybe a little bit and then continue on this way. Um, I, I was thinking about swiping into the blue, but I'm not sure I want to do that. I don't want to do a double dirty pour at the same time because I kind of want to have a little bit more control over where my like horizon line is going to be. Um, so this is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do a... I think I'm going to do a flip cup. Well, dirty pour. I'm going to do a flip cup because the tile's really heavy. Um, and then try and get it up. Okay, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to stop thinking about it and stressing about it, and I'm just going to do it. This is my burgundy. So into my burgundy, I'm going to pour my orange. And then my yellow. Oops. Looks like there's a little water sitting on top. Okay. My yellow. Got a lot of paint here. I may have more than I need. And then my gold. I'm going to give it one quick stir just because, um, Oops, that's my white. Because I don't, I, I really want them to be kind of mixed, like, leaves. Okay. So let's do this. Go up. I'm going to do a little bit of swiping just so I can get it kind of where I want it to be. It's kind of a really pretty ribbon effect going on, so I might be doing some swiping. Ooh, I like that stripe. I wasn't planning on that. Now I have to try and save it because I like it, but we'll see. Okay, and I'm going to tilt this way. I've got all this over here covered. Let's get my edges covered. 
Um, so I don't have to worry about going back this way unless I need to after I pour the blue, I probably will. The reason I didn't want to do a double dirty pour is if I did too much tilting this way, I knew I'd lose a lot of blue, the blue and the white off that edge. I feel like this is going to give me a little bit more control, but I could be, I could be wrong about that. There's not much control in fluid painting, so, okay. I kind of like it to be right around here, so I think we're good. Let me get my white and my blue. Probably not going to use all of this. I'm going to use a third cup, I think. White. And my blue. There we go. I have some of each left, so I can mix a little bit if I need to. Or mix another dirty pour of it if I need to. Shizzing this one around a little bit. And here we go. Like a little bit more blue, so oh, I'm gonna do another dirty pour. I like the look of a dirty pour, so I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna use less white and more blue. Oops, and I'm just sitting here pouring my white, not thinking, because I'm thinking about the paint. Painting, not really about what I'm pouring, but painting in general. Okay, give this a quick stir. Might have to do three of these, which is fine. Yep. Okay, and do another one real quick. This looks a bit fiery to me, more than fall the way it is. I'm thinking maybe some brown at the bottom would have been a good idea. If I could have kept it at the bottom. Okay, here's my third dirty pour, the blue and the white. I think I might do is not tilt at all because well I don't want any I don't want the blue I don't want the red mixing in with the blue I don't want them bleeding into each other because um, that wouldn't make for pretty colors I don't think so To tilt or not to tilt? Tilting makes me a little nervous because I don't want those to mix. It's a pretty harsh line, but I'm not sure I'm too worried about that. I wonder if I... Okay, I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to sit and think for a bit. You guys don't want to sit here and stare at me. Or stare at the picture while I think. Hang on, guys. Okay, guys, I got a skewer stick. I think I'm going to try and tilt just a teensy tiny bit, and then I'm going to mess up this edge a little bit with the skewer stick. I think um, blowing with a straw would give it the texture I want, so I thought about blowing it this way, but again, I don't want those colors to, to really mix at all. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I love this bottom part. I just, um, you know, 
leaves have texture. So we're just going to kind of rough up this edge. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to try and change the um, horizon line at all. I'm just going to kind of rough up this edge a little bit. It's probably not the way I would have had it. Um, had I drawn it in or painted it in um, with a brush, but... It is what it is. So, and nature is that way. So, nature is not perfect. And we certainly don't have any control over it. So, not sure I'm really loving this. Wanted to give it a little texture, but I think maybe I should have left it. It's almost too much. It looks like hair. Okay, I'm gonna clean off the end of my skewer stick. I just I'm gonna play a little bit and see. What I can do. I'm getting a little bit of bleeding from what I'm doing, but it's not so much that it's bothering too much too much. I just want it to look a little less hairy. That just looked like hair to me. You remember any of you young enough, old enough, not young enough, old enough to remember or watch the Looney Tunes cartoon. There's one where um, Bugs Bunny was doing a monster's hair. I don't know why he was doing a monster's hair. I remember that much of it. But he was a monster and long red hair. Just a hair monster. Anyway, this is what that reminds me of. Every now and then, this is probably more information than you want to know. Somebody you're watching paint, but I dye my hair red sometimes. I like it better, like, real dark brown, black. But sometimes I dye it red, and when I do dye it red, I and I part it. I've never been one with big hair, but if I try and poof it up at all when I have red hair, I always feel like that monster. So now that you know I'm officially crazy... Actually, I am good with that. It's a little bit roughed up. It's not so harsh like it was when I first poured it. Like I said, I don't love the way this line is, but um, I can live with it. I'm not sure it looks like a horizon quite the way I was thinking of. Let's see if I can do, let me do one more. <sighs> Let's not ruin it. That's all I'm thinking. Let's not ruin it. But I think I'm going to try and... I really don't like that edge. Okay. Woo! Don't drip blue on the orange. Okay. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to stop. Because I do not want to mess this up. But... I'm gonna do is come in here. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna get mixing if I do any more. So where's my skewer? Put that red there. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not sure I like that line a whole lot better, but I do like it a little bit better. So, try and get some of this red back in here, and we'll call it a day. There we go. Pour a little bit of white over here where this red is, just a little bit. Try and cover it up. I don't mind a little bit. It's not like leaves don't go in the air and fly around, so. There you go. I am going to stop while I am ahead. Give you a close-up. forget to do that. I have one of my fluorescent lights out. I love the way this red and yellow look. And orange. I don't see too much of the gold. I see a little bit here. It's kind of just giving a kind of a soft brown. Yeah, you can see it right there. And then there's the blue and the white sky. So there we go. Let me know what you guys think. I will show you here in a little bit. Well, a little bit for you, long time for me, when it dries. And we will be right back. Hi guys, here it is dry. Um, I brought it outside because uh, my phone wasn't picking up on the reds um, real well with the indoor lighting. So I brought it outside to show it to you all dry. Um, really happy with it. Love the way the reds and the orange and the yellow and the gold look. Um, the way they, they mix together. I think I would, um, I'm going to try this again on a larger canvas and I think I'm going to pick a different blue. Maybe something a little more gray and just a little bit deeper. And I'm thinking about doing maybe like four sections. Have the sky, the red, orange, yellow, and gold, and then an area of brown and an area of green. So um, it looks a little bit more foresty. Um, and I think in this one I might I might paint in some tree trunks and twigs and such to see if that um, helps it look a little bit more like um, fall leaves. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue seeing the videos. And we will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy pouring.